The Auditor General's report revealed that the power distributor generated a profit of 822 million cities in 2020. In 2021, however, the company recorded a loss of 1.9 billion cities, raising concerns from the Public Accounts Committee. Managing Director Samuel Dubek Mahama blamed the situation on the city depreciation. The electricity company of Ghana mostly buys the electricity it sells in dollars, then sells in cities, then has to go back and pay in dollars. The forex losses alone for the year is, is something that we have to look at in terms of our business. Forex losses is what is culminating for over 80% of the losses that you are seeing, Mr. Chair. He noted that the company is actively working on enhancing its financial performance. ECG sells electricity. Yes. So we, 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 we'll do our best to sell enough, create the generative market to capture what we can sell, to reduce our commercial losses to the best of our ability. So we see how we can close that gap. Officials of the National Lottery Authority also appeared before the committee. The authority has been cited for a single source procurement infraction involving the purchase of device worth over 20 million cities. Years after the purchase, the devices are almost obsolete without being deployed due to technical difficulties of compatibility. In any case, the auditors have established that the justification that you have given doesn't sit well with the law. Because you cannot say that you are doing that under agency only when you receive the items and you store them in your warehouse. Let us be serious. I think that uh, some of these issues should be looked at very well. That's why we've taken steps to um, remedy the situation and to recover fully the taxpayers' uh, investment. Thank you. Chairman, it's not about remedy. It's about you breaching the law. That's what we are talking about. If everybody will breach a law and remedy it and go free, how are we going to ensure that there's value for money, especially when it comes to procurement issues?